गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू इंग्लिश क्लास टूडे इन दिस वीडियो लेट अस डिस्कस अबाउट द लेसन नंबर सिक्स दैट इज लेसन नंबर सिक्स ट्रू हाई लेसन नंबर सिक्स ट्रू हाई लेसन नंबर सिक्स ट्रू हाई एज यूजल वी हैव टू गो थ्रू सम मीनिंग्स फॉर द डे लेट अस गो थ्रू द मीनिंग्स हियर टू बिगिन विद वी हैव फर्स्ट वन एज हार्डली कोल्ड इज इंटेंसिटी हार्डली कोल्ड इज इंटेंसिटी it means here in this lesson it means did not reduce his tension did not reduce his tension second meaning is four wall four wall it means a sporting event in which you use a long pole to jump over a high bar so pole vault is a sporting event in which you use a long pole to jump over a high bar next meaning is athlete next meaning is athlete it means a person who is skilled in bodily exercises and who competes in games that need strength and speed such as running and jumping once again athlete means a person who is skilled in bodily exercises and who competes in games that need strength and speed such as running and jumping well next meaning as chunks chunks it means lump part or portion chunks means lump part or portion so these are the meanings you must go through let us go through the textbook and the content of the lesson i will be reading you the lesson children as well as let us concentrate on the explanation part also so here is lesson number 6 true high we have got some pre reading task i will narrate an incident i will narrate an incident listen carefully listen carefully nagaraj kavda and jayamma are farmers nagaraj kavda and jayamma are farmers they live in pasanagara and obscure village in south karnataka they live in pasanagara and obscure village in south karnataka on the midnight of september 3 2012 monday they were waiting for a phone call from some 5000 miles away 
on the midnight of September 3rd, 2012, Monday, they were waiting for a phone call from some 5,000 miles away. The call came. The phone call came. The son's wife said, The son's wife said, Amma, I have one silver. Amma, I have one silver. Their joy knew no bounds. Their joy knew no bounds. H. N. Girish had won the silver medal in Paralympics. H. N. Girish had won the silver medal in Paralympics in London earlier that night. An 80,000 capacity crowd, some 2,000 Indians among them had cheered him lustily. So, H. N. Girish had won the silver medal in Paralympics in London earlier that night. An 80,000 capacity crowd, some 2,000 Indians among them had cheered him lustily. The 24-year-old young man had cleared a height of 1.74 meters using the scissors technique in men's high jump event. The 24-year-old young man had cleared a height of 1.74 meter using the scissors technique in men's high jump. Men's high jump event. Girish was born with an impairment in his leg. Girish was born with an impairment in his leg. So, Girish, who had participated in Paralympics, had won the silver medal even though he had physical challenge, physically challenged condition with his leg. Let us concentrate children. We are going to read one more such a story of an athlete in the lesson. In this story, a 17 year old boy clears the bar that is set at 17 feet 6 and a half inches and gets the first place. But true height refers to another kind of height, his whole personality. In this story, a 17 year old boy clears the bar that is set at 17 feet and 6 and a half inches and gets the first place. But true height refers to another kind of height, his whole personality. True height refers to another kind of height that is his whole personality. First paragraph now children. His palms were sweating. His palms were sweating. A glass of 
ice water quenched his thirst but hardly cooled his intensity concentrate on the meaning hardly cooled his intensity it means his tension did not reduce his tension did not reduce his palms were sweating a glass of ice water quenched his thirst but hardly cooled his intensity the turf he sat on was as hot as the competition he faced today at the national junior olympics the turf he sat on was as hot as the competition he faced today at the national junior olympics the bar was set at 17 feet the bar was set at 17 feet that was 3 inches higher than his personal best that was 3 inches higher than his personal best michael stone confronted the most challenging day of his whole vaulting career michael stone confronted the most challenging day of his whole vaulting career the stand was still filled with about 20000 people the stand was still filled with about 20000 people even though the final race had ended an hour earlier even though the final race had ended an hour earlier second paragraph children the whole world is truly the glamour event of any track and field competition so they are talking about pole vault now the pole vault is truly the glamour event of any track and field competition the sportsman combines the sportsman combines the grace of a gymnast the grace of a gymnast with the strength of a bodybuilder so in the event pole vault event the sportsman combines the grace of a gymnast with the strength of a bodybuilder pole vaulting also has an element of flying and the thought of flying as high as a two story building is a mere fantasy to anyone watching such an event concentrate pole vaulting also has an element of flying and the thought of flying as high as a two story building is a mere fantasy to anyone watching such an event that day is not only michael stone's reality and dream it is his quest that day that day is 
that day is not only Michael's reality and dream, it is his quest. So Michael Stone was on his final try or on his final jump at that particular point. So he was fully tense. He was he could not control his tension. His palms were sweating, and even though he drank cold water, it could not reduce his tension because the bar was set at three inches higher than his personal best. So this is all for the day, children. Let us see what happens in the story in our next video. Thank you. Thank you for watching.